Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I actually decided to do something a little different. Um, well, not different because I do reactions already. So, um, you know, this is different in the sense of what we're reacting to. I decided to react in like a little more Gary V for like more um positivity, more motivation, and things like that. Uh, so I have to do less of it. Maybe uh, you know, you guys will listen to somebody that actually has proven to uh, you know 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 what he's talking about and things like that. So this is episode five eighty six. If you guys enjoy this, we'll do eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine, and um. I'll just do it, you know, as my little 20 minutes of um, motivation for the day that I do. So, you know, he posts it in the mornings. So hopefully every day that he comes out with it, I'm able to react to it, just upload it and just kind of make it like a, a part of my daily routine. He's just uh, the only person that I do listen to online. He's the person that I decided to kind of like take behind with the whole content creation and things like that. So he's the one that you guys have to thank if I help you guys with anything in the future. So. That's uh that's pretty much it. I mean, um I was watching and I decided to um to uh to start it. So far it really hasn't been anything. It's just uh I wanna start it here at the beginning of the of the talk right there. So So how does this work? This is literally what he asked me. I just really wanna understand what I'm doing right now is contextualizing everybody how far we've come to let you understand where this is about to go and why it's so important for you to really get serious about this. This gentleman asked me if the way I shipped wine through the internet was taking a bottle from the liquor store and in the basement there was some weird pipe I put it into <laughs> and it went to people. <laughs> I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that. Happy to be here. That boy knew nothing about nothing. Okay. I'm a private person that I love to put out things that help people and help them grow. Because, Good. But there's a part of me that I want to keep private. Brother, I've never posted a piece of content in my family. Everybody posts everything about their family because it gets likes. You're 100% in control. Good. Don't post it. Totally get that. Okay. But when I see influencers and I see people just have a camera crew following them, and they. That them. works for them. The fuck does that have to do with you? Well, that's what I'm asking. Like, what I do or somebody else does or influencer does or what works for her or him has nothing to do with that, with you. If it doesn't work for you, it's gonna break anyway. There's no right way to do it. There's the right way for you to do it. Talk about bananas all day. I don't give a shit. You don't need to talk about your private life. I don't. I don't talk about my private life at all. I meant it when I said earlier, had I not been in this business, this is the story of my life. I didn't drink any alcohol because my mom, Nancy Reagan got to my mom. So alcohol and drugs, like I was clean as a whistle. If my dad wasn't in the liquor business, I know for fact I would have never drank alcohol in my life. And I know for fact, had I not been in the communications business, I'd be sitting in the audience today with not a single social media profile because I have nothing to share with you. That's pretty cool. Um, basically, you could choose whether or not, you know, like what it is that you want out there in the world. You know, like you could choose according to how private it is, you know, you actually want to be. Uh, family, no family. Um, if you feel you don't have anything to speak about, you can literally speak about anything. And he says it all the time. Content is literally anything. Like, I could pick up this controller, right? And, okay, this right here could be a... Watch. This is content. This... I could give you a story, just the backstory as to why I have this controller. So when I, the reason I have this controller is because when I was playing Call of Duty, you know, I used to, I used to want to be pro and things like that. And, um, you know, I, I always kind of wanted to be where the competition was at. So if like somebody had a controller that I felt gave them the advantage, I also wanted to have the same advantage. And I was just always like that. So same thing with the headset, same thing with just everything. And, um, yeah, with the controller, you know, I bought it. It was a hundred dollars. It was like a hundred and ten dollars because it was scuffed because I got the paddles in the back. Paddles obviously allow you to like it saves you time from like moving your so your thumbs is always on the actual thumbsticks as opposed to having to take them off to press A and then adjust your aim and things like that. So it's like little technical things like that that actually do make a big difference. So that's why I bought it. But um, yeah, you know, so that right there is content. You know what I'm saying? Anything could be content. And I don't think people understand that. And they just kind of too focused on like one thing. I think you should just put as much things out there as possible, as much random things out there as possible. And um, just see what sticks, you know, and just go from there, you know. Just be okay with 
whatever. Put out whatever you're okay with, and you don't have to put out whatever you're not okay with. I don't put out things like um like financial things. I I put out like experiences that I go through, but I don't put out like financial situations that I do go through, like debt and things like that. I speak about general debt, but I don't actually. I have not gone into like actual like situations like where uh, I feel like I lost this or I lost that. You know, just to not like put people in the way of it. And you know, I don't like throwing anybody under any bus or feel like I'm throwing them under any bus. You know, so you know for that reason you know so there's not i don't speak about everything i just try to speak about what might bring value to you guys so you know just i don't know find something i don't know i always use workout reference as a you know as one because it's like such a common thing if you're into like fitness sports uh gaming uh nursing like whatever it is just become a news for that industry that's the best way to get your name out there just become like a media company like actual news for that business that, that you're in all right in retrospect i would have did it the same in hindsight i'm the only one to blame i ain't picky i'm just real specific you're awesome by the way thank you brother i'll walk with you if okay. you're walking this is a personal question. That was the next one, the line, I, I missed it. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird thing. I grew up dirt poor, like dirt fucking poor. Yeah. Like nothing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so when I was 16, I moved out on my own. Yeah. Uh, start, started my life, and every day, my, you know, my dad was a steel worker. My mom was a drug addict. She overdosed. She died. I'm sorry. And uh, it's probably best. Yeah, I understand. And, and uh, but every day I woke up, and I said, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be like that. Right. I'm going to That be became that. your driver. I understand. So... But now today, yeah, I have a hundred million dollar appraisal company. Yeah. I do the appraisals for almost everybody out there. Good for you. It's awesome. And super successful, great company, real happy. But every single day I wake up, I still feel like that little fucking poor. Well that's boy. good. I hate it. Well, okay, so then you need to if you hate it, you need to go deeper. You need to either go into therapy. I mean this is real. Like you gotta get the poison out. I just Successful company. Success, successful person. successful isn't this. Successful is this. But, but I'm happy with my wife. I'm happy with great. my kids. We have a great so, family. So are you are you I tired just, by ha- of having the chip on your shoulder, or is it deeper than that? I'm just tired of having the chip on my shoulder. Yeah, I mean, look. I think the question becomes: you, I believe. Here's what I believe, and I could be wrong. I believe, and you can't do this to your wife or others. This is why I believe in therapy or some other version or some other version. If you have a stigma on that, here's what I believe. I believe people don't realize by actually saying something out loud and getting the poison out. I believe there's three to four things that are deeply inside of you that you've never said at all, that are completely predicated on your mom dynamics, that the second they come out of your fucking mouth, whether on an Instagram video to the world because you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna tear this whole thing down, or, yep, or, by going and sitting with somebody in a private room, or however the fuck you, or going to a fucking forest by yourself and screaming it at the top of your lungs, I don't care how you do it, I promise you, without knowing all the details, there's poison in you that you've never said out loud. All right, I've been wanting to pause it, but I'm sorry, I had to pause it. Listen, that right there, realest shit ever. That's the realest shit ever, right? That is the reason why I make so much content is because I have so much shit to say, so much, like I get so lost in my head if I don't say something that I said like, okay, I'm not going to look crazy and like just speak to myself. I'm on this way. If I, I came to the decision one day, it was just exactly that right there. It was just like, wait, if I just speak it out loud, I could hear myself a little better. I first started with just recording myself on my phone. Right, that's exactly how the, all of this started. I just recording my fel- myself on my phone for myself to hear myself, so that I could like get all my thoughts out. Right, and then one day I just decided like, wait, it's on my phone. I might as well just upload it. Right, and if I upload it, I might as well then go for something. If I'm going for something, I might as well learn how to do it the best. And if I'm go doing it the best, I might as well learn how to just be myself. And it like it's just so many steps to this, but it all begins with like you starting with yourself like you have to start speaking just if you have something inside just start speaking recording just do exactly what i'm talking about i've like that is my exact little step-by-step guide to where i've gone to right now bro it's just i've started with recording and i didn't feel comfortable putting it online because it was private to me but as you go it's like private what the fuck is private 
what is private? Everything out there is out there. Like anybody that wants to find anything out about you can. It's just a question away, a Google search away. Anything that wants to find anything about you can. So it's like, what is private? Private is all up here in your head. So it's whatever you're comfortable sharing. And I think you should share everything as much as possible. Just speak and find whatever that is within yourself. Please, please. I'm sure. I'm like, sure, like too. just saying this was hard. So. I could see it. Yeah. Brother, what? There, nobody's going to judge you on that. Like, like, this is why I always tell people to put out all their fucking skeletons because that's the fucking jail. There's no amount of money and success you're going to make that's going to fix that. You got to get the poison out. Yeah. You got to get the fucking yeah, poison yeah, out. Yeah. Got it? Thank you. Get the poison out, bro. Thank you. I mean it. How You know, I'm Can't telling you. Yourself. Of course. Just... Shake. That was good shit. It's real. Yeah. It's real. It's what it is. Thank you. The success doesn't cover it. Yeah, it's not the it's money. A, uh, uh, it's, not the, it's, it's, it's not the outside. It's the inside. And what's scary is just getting it out of your mouth. I've watched so many fucking people win that game. But it's hard. The reason it's still in, bro. Yeah. The, re- the reason it's still in there is because it's hard. If it's so easy, it'd say it right now. I just, I, you always think getting successful will make it go away, gangster. It won't. Because you know. people think the outside fixes it. It's the inside. That's real, bro. That's super real. That's right there. Is that's motivation, man. That's why I like listening to this man because he he just speaks real shit, bro. And it's just like. I don't know what else, how else you could put it. He doesn't sugarcoat it. It's just straight up. And, um, you know, that's why I've, like, gravitated now towards music because I just see it's something I've always enjoyed, man. I've always listened to artists. I've always listened to people that it's like, man, I love lyrics. I love words. I like poetry. I like just, I love what words could do to somebody else. Like, he's done it for me. He's, the reason I'm here, the reason we're watching this right here or you're watching this right here right now is because of him. Like, he's the reason why I'm sitting here creating so much content and being able to speak up as much as I'm able to speak up. But I'm chasing something with um with Gary. You know, I, I plan on being able to sit down with Gary one day and just, uh like, actually speak to him, like, some real, real stuff because, oh, man, I, I would love to have an actual conversation with him, man. That would be dope. That would be dope. As a working mother, yes, it's very difficult very. to prioritize every day. Yeah. Yes, and I have a very crazy passion to grow my business. I have five, only five people, five people. I'm small. I want to grow rapidly, but That's I try doing that, things. That, that, I tried it. No, no, rapidly. Yeah, rapidly is the problem. The reason, the reason you have friction, the reason you have a question right now, is being a working mother having crazy ambition and being a mother should eliminate and has to eliminate the concept of rapidly and this is where everybody gets caught you don't realize and this is what I you know I talk about this I know you watch my content you don't know how young you are I feel like grandma I get it (laughs) but but you're wrong yeah you're not I feel like 15 years of grind I've been doing and I try doing social media. I try doing like going to realtors yep. and be like, hey, use our yep. services. Yep. I'm a yep. mortgage broker. Yep. I'm better. They'll give me their hardest transaction for like hardest transactions nobody else can yep. do, and they'll take away the business. So how do I prove it? Like, dude, I did that. Like, come on. By by communicating it to the world yeah. and by being patient. Yeah. Fifteen years is not as long as you think. I know. It's not. I, everyone's like, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur like you. I'm like, I truly started at six. Yeah. Truly. Lemonade, shoveling snow, washing cars. Like, truly at six. I'm 37 years in, and I'm, I actually, it's funny, I brought it up today, which I don't do often, which is like, man, 43 year old me is a lot better than 22 year old me, even though 22 year old me was a natural talent. Yeah. And it's funny, when I listen to all time great athletes, you know, I listen to like Kobe, LeBron, and they talk about that. Like, they talk about like, I'm 33 now, there's certain things I can't do, but there's so much more I can. You have 35, 40 more years. Yeah. It's, it's the word rapidly when it came out of your mouth is the tell. It's like poker, it's when I know that you're in trouble. You need to slow it down. Gotta learn. Practice. That's right. Practice. Practice. I think the biggest thing is about relationship with time. And when you have ambition, 
my man Chris really is, you know, that's why I keep looking at him. Like, his ambition, what he's trying to achieve is a big deal. It really matters. Again, I reference it. At the top of the list of the things that I get private messaged about, the, pe- the men and women that service our country to like keep us safe, that are dealing with the mental health issues they're dealing with, it's a big one, but he'll, he'll fail if he tries to go too fast or tries to boil the ocean. It's too big. I want to change everyone's lives. If I even think about that, I'll fail. I just got to do what I can, and then when I'm 98, 92, 113, whenever it's a wrap, I got to be like, look, I left it on the field. What we all have, though, is we now can have legacy because of what Nicole and D-Rock and, and Drew are doing. Like, like my con- this video right now, what I'm saying right this second is being watched 30 years after my death. Right now, this is being watched. Hey, everyone. Yeah. Sorry we didn't get to meet. You were born too late. You know, but like, but like you know, I'm really pissed I'm dead. Um, but, but that's real. Yeah. Like, that's real. So, slow it down. That's cool. That's super dope that he did that. That's... I think that those are the two things that matter. I think there is upfront, I think about things in extremes and finding balance within them. So, you know, using technology, communicate at scale makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm probably on the way to the airport now in Vegas, make a video and I'm gonna press a button in my community app, which is a new text messaging app that I'm in the alpha or beta of and it's gonna text 125,000 people in one shot. I'm not sending it one by one. However, as soon as that goes out, a bunch of people are gonna be like, is this really you? Or they're gonna say something about the content I said and then I'm gonna go one on one and be like, Neil, it's me. Like it really was me, I sent this. Or Sally, no, your issue with thought process or with Facebook strategy or with management is this. So I, I love scale, but I think that non-scalable is the equal dancing partner to it. And I believe people think it's one or the other. So I'm more of the mindset of 51, 49, non-scalable uh, because I do think that human variable is the decision maker in a service business. I want to make a positive impact on the world. It's very important to me. My gratitude of the circumstances and the parenting that I was given. My way of doing that is not how everybody tells me to do it, which is go fight on Twitter. My way is to instill things like gratitude and empathy and kindness and patience. That's how I plan on doing it. I'm not worried about boiling the ocean. One day at a time, one day at a time, one day at a time, and then you wake up 40 years later and you've created a legacy. Shit takes time, baby. It takes time, boys. Funny by accent. How are you, sir? Real pleasure. (laughs) Real pleasure. Take care. Question. Are you sure? I still see 526. Okay. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> I still see 526. That guy's the best. That's inspiration right there. I'll tell you that, man. That's motivation. And I don't know. That's dope, man, to see somebody just kind of be themselves at all times. It's, it's cool. It's just a reminder you could always be yourself, man. Hope you guys like that, man. Um, that was different. It was different, but that's what I enjoy, right? So that's who I want to attract, people that are similar to me. And um, that's that. All right. See you guys later, man. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend that we're here doing this, and um, that's that. All right. See you guys, man. As always, lend a helping hand, y'all. Two hands is better than one, but three is always going to be what? Yeah, better than none, baby. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. I'm out. Peace.